Well, there's been an awful lot of comment that we, we're getting all our money from the fat cats and the, and the corporate sector. It is true that the corporate sector gave us our start. You know, it, it, it would have been a great project. It would have been a lot more fun if I had the money or if we had the money, and then we did the job. But we had to start because of the, of the birthday. Uh, we wanted to do it on the 100th anniversary of the statue. And also because the statue was deteriorating, uh, we had the time pressure on us. And so we found ourselves raising money on Tuesday and paying the contractor on Thursday. And that gave us a little cash flow problem. And, and corporations came forward and gave us pledges or money and uh, got us off the ground in the first place. But as the school children, as the letter campaign, as the other so-called grassroots organizations have contributed, uh, that percentage has, has dropped. Your Dodge dealers are proud of their role. Commercialization of the statue has long been an issue and has been going on since Miss Liberty was first placed in New York Harbor. You can see it in old advertisements, old posters, and other memorabilia. And today, many businesses and organizations participate in the birthday celebration by creating display windows. The Department of Interior, which has the responsibility for the statue, wants to make sure all the money donated goes to the restoration effort. To ensure that, they have designated the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation as the only one who can enter into a commercialization agreement. So far, there are 85 companies officially licensed to make souvenirs or use their logo. The agreement allows the foundation to check the licensee's books and make sure part of the product profit goes to the restoration. children are also money raisers. They are from the fifth grade class at the United Nations International School. Dressed in their native costumes, they are singing Born to Liberty, part of the choral section of the Richard Adler symphonic work. The children's recording will be distributed across the country to raise money, as well as increase the awareness of the statue and what it symbolizes for America. Back in 1903, a bronze plaque was fastened to the interior wall of the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty out there. There were no speeches, no ceremony, no reporters covered the event. On that plaque was a poem written 20 years earlier to help raise funds to build the pedestal. Emma Lazarus wrote it and called it the New Colossus. Her words have as much power and strength today in what they say about America as they did in 1883. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gate shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the airbridge harbor that Twin Cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.
This is Channel 2 News Watch. Here's Richard Brown. Good evening. The black Newark teenager who was shot to death by a white police officer was laid to rest today. Some mourners at the funeral of Michael Harris charged his killing was...